Okay, so this is a uh, typical 12 volt 110 inverter. I wanted to show you what the power draw is on just one of these LED bulbs. I'll screw it in. There we go. And we are at 1.4 amps to light that 7.5 watt bulb. So just as a comparison, you can see that I mean that is a whole lot more power than the little jewel ring uses. This was using 0.3. And right now I'm going to be trying to see how many of these LEDs I can fire up. And these are 7.5 watt, 40 watt equivalent LEDs. All right, so we're going to do the test. Here's um, a small ferrite transformer. Got these three seven and a half watt bulbs. Amp meter. We'll just fire up one at first. Amp draw is 0.288. Much better. Let's try two. There's two. Right, point four, four. Let's try three. There's three brightly lit. And we're at a half amp. And transistor's not the least bit hot. It's cold. Pretty cool. Now, that's weird. The amp draw is point three eight. Could be that these aren't completely, completely lit. I don't think they're completely bright. Let's, let's unscrew one and see if they brighten up a bit. No, not yet. Still at 0.375. There we go. Those are a little brighter. Slightly brighter. That's 0.337. That's actually really nice light. I mean, I don't think you could totally light up a room with any of any of those, but for the cost and power off a 12 volt battery, that's my battery. That's that's pretty great. All right, let's try it with CFLs and see what goes on. All right, we're still using um, this little Super Jewel Ringer 2.0. I've got two fluorescents. I just tested one. It runs runs it really bright, but this thing squealed, so I'm just gonna try two and see what happens. I might burn something up. Okay, that one's lighting, that one's not. Amp draw is two. So this little guy is great for LEDs. Alright, so what I have here is um the Lynx Jewel Lamp Setup, Secondary Primary, 2N305 Transistor. Got a little amp meter set up here. This one is screwed in. We'll test this. Actually, that one's screwed in. There we go. Okay, that one is nicely bright. Problem is, it's pulling almost 2 amps. So that's not so good on 12 volts. It's like 24 watts to fire that up. So if I turn this one in, they're both on, not not very bright at all. Still pulling two, two amps. If I turn this one in, it just can't do it. They all they're all out. There's three CFLs. They're all the same bulb. Trying 0.3 amps of 12 volts. I'll play with that coil a little bit. I'll show you why I do it. I'm scrunching it down.
So about 100 milliamps. And these CFLs are actually barely glowing. I mean, maybe candlelight. The three of them. But that makes sense because that's three bulbs at one watt. It's not a lot of power input. So if we adjust this back up, full length, again we're drawing about 300. There's three bulbs. This one's pretty, pretty bright. I don't know if my contacts are real good here. This one is bright except for the very top, and this one's nicely bright. So, 300 milliamps. So, this setup is probably better direction to head in for CFLs. Um, this is by far better for LEDs, obviously. Not so great for fluorescents. Uh, maybe, maybe it has to do with the turn ratio. But this is definitely nicer for this one. It's quiet. But anyway, that's 25 turns. If it was tight, it would be 26 turns. This seems to be working better, just a little bit loose. This is solid bell wire. It holds its shape better. I wanted to show you something else. I've um, tapped into this primary at 12 turns. Just, just, uh, just randomly. That's not anything I planned. Anyway, we are pulling 0 0.3, 2 amps. The three bulbs are, I mean, they're not brightly lit, but they are all going. And just wanted to kind of show you, I mean, it's it's really not that sensitive like a Tesla coil. Um, so I mean, it's going to take, it's going to take a little more uh, exploring to find out what's going on here. But I mean, I can move that around. Now we've just got 12 turns. Getting to about a half an amp. A little over 0.4. The bulbs are a little brighter. Doing pretty good. But I just wanted to show you that this isn't like hypersensitive tuned Tesla coil. I mean, I'm, you can be kind of rough with this thing. It still goes. Makes me wonder if I even need a primary. I assume I do. <laughs> Here's just one CFL bulb. We're sitting at 12 turns. Drawing a little less than uh, 0.3 amps. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna move this down again. Now I'm going to move it up. We're sitting at 12 turns, one bulb. I'm stretched all the way there. Anyway, it's just interesting. So actually 25 turns. 25 turns fully along the secondary gives me 0.27 amps, 270 milliamps, and the bright the bulb is very nicely bright. I mean, it's not 100% bright. I, I don't know what you'd consider this maybe half bright, but it's usable. And that's a very low amp drop.